here and into the semifinals, it looked like you were completely down and out early in that second. How did you, or excuse me, in the third, how yeah. did you manufacture those holds when you were serving poorly and just not at the top of your game? Um, well, I feel that even though I was down, I feel a lot of times as a player, if you have confidence or if you don't have confidence, you can kind of feel when things are not going your way, your way or and I honestly I didn't really feel that you know even even two days ago when I was uh, playing uh, Andreosi even though I was down I still never really thought I was gonna lose which um which is a player you kind of feel you know and um but I was able to really you know come up with some big serves on some key points and the match was you know excuse me difficult but it was it was very simple which what i needed to do which was get the ball on my forehand and able to well able to take you know easy balls and um and be aggressive with them and control the point and i felt on big points that's what i was able to do and that ultimately would made me win win the match yeah melter's been doing such a great job over this entire year really of mm -hmm. just grinding guys down so yeah. physical and so big and heavy on that forehand side yeah. how did you neutralize it throughout um well, I, I tried to play a lot to his backhand, and even I also tried to play, you know, hit more uh, up the middle on my when I got a backhand into his forearm because I felt like if I hit a bad uh, backhand cross court, it really favored him because he was able to open it up with the angle on the on the lefty, and I feel he's very similar actually to uh, to to Donald here. Um, obviously, I think Donald's just a little bit better, uh, better intangibles, um, takes the ball a little bit earlier, but. I think they they play they try to play very similar. Both have kind of a flatter backhand, so um, I think it, it's a very similar matchup actually to Donald. But of course, you know both guys are tough, and Melder especially started come playing the drop shot uh, in the second set, which you know he he didn't miss. I don't think he missed missed maybe one he before match one, yeah. point, and um, I was a that was an interesting little adjustment I had to make. But at the end of the day, I just had to fight and try to take control of points on my forehand. Yeah, it's um, talk about your serve and yeah. where it's at now. You've you've told me it many times over the last couple of years. You're very confident in that second. You went through just that little stretch where yeah. your serve percentage dropped pretty drastically. How did you get back into a, just a rhythm and some form on it? Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like I've been hitting my my serve in practice so well for for since the last couple of years, and really. You know, just the timeline of my serve, where I felt like it fell apart, was I was serving amazing uh, up until uh, through when I was playing Futures and then Kalamazoo um, when I was 17, and I had to pull out against um, uh, Colin. And I felt that you know I was serving really well up up to that point, and even served well against um, Monfils in my in our matchup there at the U.S. Open. And then I tried to hit the, hit it a little bit harder, and I feel like my fundamentals and how I hit the ball just seemed to get erratic after that um but recently i felt very confident in my first serve i've been hitting it really really well in uh in, in practice and made some adjustments after sarasota and then you know my second serve uh obviously these last couple of matches have been a little bit shaky and i feel i mean i, I still feel i still feel confident on it i just need to make sure that i'm uh that i don't get too passive with it and then I keep up the racket hit speed because it's just like a forehand if you are trying to hit it aggressive but with low racket hit speed and spin well the ball's going to fly and I felt a lot of those a lot of my serves were flying and that's just kind of what happened out there so it's an adjustment I have to make and continue to work on my second serve but again I feel com I feel confident in it and I feel confident in my game um it's just uh you know it's just, it's I feel like you know good things are are coming I, it feels like you're also trying to shorten points. I mean, yeah. you've been so good about with your point construction, what mm. you're trying to do, but it feels like you're trying to be more aggressive with that, that first ground stroke nowadays. And on top of it, yeah. very aggressive with your return as well. Yeah. Uh, I think especially on my return, and I've, I've definitely struggled on my return at times. Um, I've felt that that's one area in my game where if I could just put a couple more returns in play that I was really doing well on ground strokes, but I just wasn't, or excuse me, in rallies, but I just wasn't giving my, myself enough opportunities mm -hmm in order to 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 break guys to put balls in play and I feel I've actually done that pretty well um these last couple of tournaments um but I am playing more aggressive but I'm also playing more aggressive in a different way with more spin and margin and I felt before I I always tried to play aggressive but a little bit too a little bit too aggressive you know like try to end the point where now I'm not trying to end the point I'm just trying to play an aggressive shot 
and um, move, you know, stay in control of the point, but with a, with a good ball that's uh, that's safe that I'm consistent hitting it. And I feel that's another change I've uh, added to my game this year. And also just keeping trying to take the ball early, um, like that. And uh, yeah, just keep trying to take the ball early and making sure that I'm uh, playing aggressive out there. Yeah, the only problem it seemed like you had today, I, I, the, obviously that high backhand return when he started using the slider mm. into the middle of the second and mm. into the third, that gave you problems. And also when he was hitting that big, heavy left hand forehand out to your backhand and you were trying to change yeah. directions and take that one up the line, those seemed to be the only two areas that you really struggled with today. Yeah, and I think also that's um, that's just what you're going to get against yeah. guys who play, oh, especially lefties who play heavy into the backhand. It's the a hard shot for I think everybody um, a lot of guys struggle with out there and that's what Nadal does so well and and that's that's um what I think DY here is going to try to do to uh to kick her hit that uh hit that lefty spin into the back end so I did try and I feel like that was something that I needed to do in this match was if I got a ball on my back end making sure when I got a comfortable ball to change down the line and start getting into more of a his back end of my forehand and taking control of the point on my forehand and I feel like I did that. I did that pretty well today. I, it could have been better, but I mean, you know, it's it, it, it's t it, he does hit a good ball, so it's not an easy thing to right. do. Well, obviously, Jared, I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk to you a little bit about the USTA Pro Circuit Roland Garros Wild Card Challenge. Yeah. Uh, you now put yourself right into the middle of it here with this semifinal berth. Yeah. Um, how much you've been through these before now, and you've been in contention for them? Yeah. Do you think about them at all? Do you just focus on the task at hand? Um, I think. I don't I I mean I don't really think about it that much it's kind of like an afterthought something that's in the back of back of my mind um you know I've gotten a lot of wild cards through um I wouldn't say a lot but I've gotten my fair share of wild cards uh through my career so far and I mean are they nice to have yes but I would much rather to be honest go in and uh, play Roland Garros, Roland Garros qualies and qualify rather than just get a wild card straight in. That have, but that being said, I'd also ra I, I would also like to do really well here. You know, win the try to win this and try to win the next one also. So um, obviously it's a nice bonus. It's a nice little uh, it's a nice little bonus to play for, added bonus. But at the end of the day, I mean, I I have to go in and you know focus on the next match and. Because I feel if you start thinking about all that during the match, you're just going to get so nervous. Yeah. And, I, and I've done that through my career, you know, thinking about ranking and um, chase, or not chasing points, but trying to, uh, you know, get points. And that, and that just, it's impossible to play when you're thinking about that sort of stuff and you start to struggle. And I know that I've, I've gone through that, and even in my career so far. Well, it's 2-1 here, trading breaks. Uh, you get the winner of this one. Yeah. Are you going to stick around and watch this? I, obviously, with a two-hour and 45-minute match, yeah. I'm sure your body's a little bit worn out. You yeah. want to just recover, or you want to watch a little bit of this one? Um, you know, I feel good enough to watch the, to, to watch this. I think I'm going to go back, though, and try to and try to relax at my hotel. You know, um, I know my dad and Phil are going to watch this. But I mean, I'm pretty f familiar with with uh, Nico's game. He's taken me out the last couple, the last couple of weeks. So I'm hoping for for actually a DY victory here. Maybe some maybe some different a different face to. Uh, you don't uh, want another shot me. at him. Um, not the not this week. But if it is, <laughs> but if it is, I'm I'm ready. I've played him a lot, and Donald, I've never played. I've seen him play a little bit. I've practiced with him a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm familiar with both with both of these guys' games. But at the end of the day, I think I I know what I need to do in order to. To, to be successful and that's you know try to try to get aggressive on my on my on my forehand and and, and win points that way you know and i think uh i think if i do that i'll be successful against whoever i play it must be very rewarding for you right now to to know that you just have that confidence and have that ability mm -hmm. against some guys who are just natural clay quarters yeah. you have to feel good heading into the rest of this clay court season yeah i i mean i do i, I mean i think my my best win ever actually the best match i ever played was on clay court uh, last year at Roland Garros, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm familiar with clay. I mean, I trained two and a half years in Argentina, and I think that, you know, my game does 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 suit it a little bit. Obviously, I feel I'm a little bit more comfortable on hard court, but I'm, uh, but I feel very, I feel very good on on clay, and um, you know, it allows me to be aggressive and uh, and gives me a little bit more time on some shots, and and that's, uh, I think that's good for my game. All right, Jared Donaldson. Three-set winner over Gerald Meltzer today. Congratulations. Get some rest, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Mike.